Yes, Orange County is facing tough times, too, with a deficit projected at more than $80 million. County employees are being let go. What's next? Well, joining me to discuss that are Orange County Supervisor John Morlock and Nick Berardino, head of the Orange County Employees Association. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Supervisor Morlock, how bad is the How big is the problem? How big is the problem? Yeah, how big is the problem? How deep and how long? Uh, we have a state that has never fixed its systemic budget problems, and so uh, that sort of comes downstream to us. Uh, Pete Wilson, when he was governor, tried to make some modifications, and so he would say, you take care of these programs, but we'll give you these revenue sources. Uh, so we call it realignment for social services. It means sales tax and vehicle license fees. Auto sales are down 18% last year, probably be down another 29% this year. Uh, it's an amazing industry, even in Orange County, you, you, your, your, your newspaper just pointed out like 13,000 jobs, it's a major employer. Uh, that's down, uh, sales tax is down, and, and so our revenues for social services are down and we have to make the appropriate changes uh, as, we're, as we're dealing with those. Nick, as anybody who's read the papers know you and John don't have a lot that you agree on. Do you agree with that scenario, that the money's down and times are bad? Oh, absolutely. Uh, there's no question that, that things are very bad uh, in the economy, and I think uh, certainly for the state and the state budget is, is also going to be very bad. And uh, Okay, so what, what should the county do about it? Well, you know, the, our problem has never been that uh, we've had disagreement about the fact that things are bad and that we're all going to be sharing in the pain, both in the public and private sector, and in fact that we all should. Our problem is that, like much of America, and the executives in America, the Board of Supervisors, as long, along with the executive managers, have taken a position that before they look at their own perks, which we estimate to be $21 million in perks, and the county disagreed with those numbers, but you know has never have never given us any other uh, numbers, that before they start cutting jobs and cutting services, that they need to begin to cut and at the top and okay. that's been our big issue. John, what about that? That the supervisors reflect the, some of the callousness of Wall Street that you know the, the perks for the big guys stay in while the little people get cut. I, um, I think it's probably a standard operating procedure for public employee unions to go after management. Uh, I don't know if that's healthy uh, because we are working together uh, as a team at the top and at the bottom and, and all the way uh, in between. Um, so it would be, if, 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 if you're saying please cut something, whether it's a, a, a Section 125 plan, whether it's an auto allowance, whether it's a salary, uh, then if we said fine, let's, let's just cut our packages, a certain percentage, but let's do it all the way across the board. We have a $1 billion payroll. So if we said let's all cut 10% each, then we're talking about $100 million we could save. So I, I'm all for ideas. Well, are you all for that? Are you saying across the board, cut everybody's uh, from, from the supervisors to the managers to the employees 10% across the board? I think uh, that's something I'd be more favorable looking at than just saying, okay, we're just going to pick one group or one, one target group. Well, how, I mean, if, if we're really going to make some changes, I mean, Rick, uh, we, should, we should just go ahead and reevaluate our pension plan system if we really want to save some money. Okay, well, let's, and let's get to the pensions in a moment. But, Nick, what about the idea? Are, are you amenable to 10% cuts for everybody across the board? Well, we don't know that 10% is the right number, and we don't know exactly what the cuts ought to let's be. Let's say whatever, whatever the amount is, wh whatever it would take, let's say is that, is that one thing that everybody would be cut the same from the top down to the bottom? Well, we, we've said that we're prepared to come to the, to the table. You're not giving me a yes or a no. Well, let me, let me okay. answer that. It's not that simple of an answer because what, what the supervisor points out is 10% of everybody. What we're saying is let's first get all on the same playing field. Our people don't have $765 car allowance. Our people don't have thousands of dollars in optional benefit plans that they can take in cash. Our people have to pay for their pension plans, the total employee normal costs. Our people don't have 401ks okay, well, but, but, that are fully paid. So, but you know, wh whatever, the, whatever the situation is, so you're, you're against the idea because you're saying the managers get some things that the rank and file doesn't. You wouldn't, before you'd go flat 10%, you'd expect the other side to give up something. That's Bef what I hear you saying. Before we give up okay. even 1%, we have to get on a level playing field. Once we're on a level playing field, we want to come well, to the mean, table and talk uh, okay. about it. Uh, John, I, 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 let, let me put you to the fire, too, though. Are, are you saying, are, would you favor a flat rate for everybody, just saying, here's the benefits and the pay, and let's just go across the board? 
I think that's more equitable than, than just to, you know, do the same old, same old, okay. you know. I didn't hear Nick complain about my salary or my auto allowance for years. I mean, I have, I have, have never, I've never heard a word, but now that we're having some difficult times, even though we've been kind of preparing as diligently as we have for the last years, I've never, I mean, the last time Nick came, came and visited me, he wanted raises for certain employees. I, I, so I, you know, I'm getting mixed signals. Okay.